We are given the vectors in set B form a basis if the coordinates of vector W relative to basis B are one, four, negative two, we're asked to find the coordinates of vector W relative to the standard basis. And we can do this two equivalent ways. The first way is to recognize that if we have the basis vectors in set B, and we also have the coordinates of vector W relative to basis B, then the coordinates of vector W relative to the standard basis would be equal to the first coordinate of one times the first basis vector of negative three, two, negative seven, plus the second coordinate of four times the second basis vector of negative two, one, negative four, plus the third coordinate of negative two, or minus two, times the third basis vector of zero, zero, one. So the first coordinate of vector w relative to the standard basis is one times negative three plus four times negative two minus two times zero, which is negative 11. The second coordinate is one times two plus four times one minus two times zero, which, which is six. And the third coordinate is one times negative seven plus four times negative four minus two times one, which is negative 25. The second equivalent method to determine the coordinates of vector w relative to the standard basis would be to find the transition matrix from B to S, which is formed using the basis vectors, and then multiply by the coordinates of vector W relative to basis B. The three by three transition matrix from B to S is formed using the three basis vectors in set B, and therefore the first column is negative three, two, negative seven. The second column is negative two, one, negative four. And the third column is zero, zero, one. Then we multiply by the coordinates of vector W relative to basis B, which are one, four, negative two. The three by three matrix is the transition matrix, which we call matrix P from B to S. And then again, we have times the coordinates of vector W relative to basis B. Multiplying, we have negative three times one, plus negative two times four, plus zero times negative two, which is negative 11. Next, we have two times one, plus one times four, plus zero times negative two, which is six. And finally, we have negative seven times one, plus negative four times four, plus one times negative two, which is negative 25. So either way, we now know the coordinates of vector w relative to the standard basis are negative 11, six, and negative 25. I hope you found this helpful.